Moin Moin and welcome to Ralf's Photo Booth. You have the first flights behind you, the weather is getting better and better, so that's more fun to fly now. You don't get cold hands or freezing hands. The spring is here, so that's a really nice situation to fly. You may have changed your uh, vision with the uh, Channel 7 to tilt the uh, camera with the potentiometer. Um, I showed you on the video, you can do this uh, with, your, with the potentiometer. They have a video to how you can um, tune your vision to um, get this real nice function um, into your remote control. Next point, when you fly, you may recognize that the Wi-Fi connection get lost um, at about 300 meter, that's about 1000 feet, um, and um, so there's um, not the need, but it's nice to have a little bit more Wi-Fi range. Um, you can do this by two different options. Uh, the first option is you can put an antenna here at the uh, camera of the vision. Um, there are two antennas in the vision. One is on the left side, one is on the right side. And um, when you do a gimbal on the vision like I have, um, one of the sides is hidden a little bit, so there's a little less um, Wi-Fi connection and a little less um, range when you do it like this and there you have the option to put an external antenna um, to the camera but that's a little it's not so easy because you have this this cable here you have to put the antenna here um, on the uh, on the landing gear um, and so that's not so easy and you have to disassemble the complete camera there are several layers of, um, of electronic and you have to remove all the layers to get to the connection where you can put this small tiny antenna um, in the camera. Another option, and that's a much easier option, is to get an and to put an antenna here on the range on the Wi-Fi extender on this part of the uh, remote control. That's much easier um, because you really get nice into this uh, small box to find the uh, antenna connectors, and you can put an antenna on top of the um, of the um, range extender. One thing which is really nice uh, because it's not so expensive, it's um, easy to install and it doesn't need extra power. That's um, 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 Wi-Fi antenna like this one you can put onto the uh, range extender. I will show you how this one looks like. Here we are. So. So that's the antenna here. You see TP link. Here is the uh, line you have to connect to the um, to the uh, range extender. And one thing you have to have an adapter. You have to have an adapter like this because you have to connect the end of the uh, of the antenna here with the small connector on the um, on the electronic of the range extender. And that's what I want to show you now. I want to show you how to install this small extender cable to put an external antenna on the range extender of the DJI Vision Phantom 2. No, DJI Phantom 2 Vision. Okay, sorry. But it's the same. i show you how to install this one. So before the next step, my warning, you do everything on your own risk. Um, so I show you only how to do, but to do is your own risk. Um, I'm not responsible for any damage or um, if you screw into the uh, electronic part here. So that's absolutely to your own risk and um, I'm not responsible for any damage. I removed the uh, Wi-Fi extender from the remote control and now we have to open the four screws, three of them I've just opened and here I do the last one. And now you have to remove the bottom plate from the uh, top plate and that's a little bit tricky because um, on each side here 
and here you have a small nose on the top plate which goes into the bottom plate. So you have to use the screwdriver or plastic part or anything else. Don't use the sharp part because if you use something sharp you will spoil the edge here. So um, that's a good idea to use a plastic part or a, um, a small screwdriver. And you have to put this one a little bit outwards because you will see why here is this small nose and this nose goes here into this part uh, of the uh, bottom plate so you have to remove this one a little bit and then you can remove the bottom plate you have to do exactly the same on this side move a little bit outwards and you will um, you can remove the uh, bottom plate Take your time, be patient, do it not too fast so you don't break here the noses or you don't break the center plates. It's a little bit tricky but these are the only two parts left and right side um, where you have these small noses and you have to open up the um, top plate. So when you open up the, uh, the Wi-Fi, the range extender, you will see here the two uh, points where the antenna is connected um, to the electronic and these are the two points where we will connect our external cable. You see we have exactly the same um, the uh, same part here and then you can put uh, drill two holes at each side and put the uh, connector here out of these um, of the module. You can do um, two holes as I said before or you can do only one it depends on you usually one of um, these things is enough so um, my suggestion I would do only one um, and the second one um, you can leave at the point where it is so you have the internal antenna and you have the external antenna um, so that's my suggestion but you can do two of them you can put two of them inside um, and so you have the option to put um, one external antenna like this and another uh, external antenna or you can use two of them and put it on a tripod on an extra tripod or something else so you have both options, one or two. Um, when you drill the holes, be very careful not to hit the electronic. Um, it's a good idea to remove these four screws so you can remove the electronic. Then it's a little bit easier to um, drill the holes. But um, one thing, when, you, uh, when you've drilled the hold and, uh, holes and put the cable here inside, Please uh, do it. Uh, do the um, do the uh, the electronic in before because other otherwise you won't get the um, when you have on two sides you won't get the electronic inside. So um, after you drill the holes, put the electronic in, and then after this uh, you can use the uh, the this part here into the um, into this uh, housing. Okay, so that's what I want to do now and then we see you later. So the hole is drilled, the cable is installed. It looks like this. You see we have here the uh, hole the, where the cable goes out. We have uh, connected the uh, cable here um, and that's it. Be sure that the end of the small, um, the small uh, antenna here is at a place where it couldn't make a short circuit so um, be sure that it is at the at a good place um, um, so let's put it here at the side and that's it very simple here we are okay and that's it so everything is done let's make a check if everything works switch on and you see we have the green light here, the power light, and after a while the system light will flash and try to connect to the uh, camera of the Phantom. And that's it. So we can close the whole stuff and go for the next and last step. So everything is assembled, the Wi-Fi uh, extender or repeater is ready, we have the connector here, we can 
check again if it's work. Yes, we have the green light here and the system will flash a little bit later. Um, and, so, uh, and so now we have the next point and the last point we have to install the stuff together and if you put the range extender in a position like this and then put the um, the big one in a position like this. You put the cable here on top and the easiest way to connect both is using these um, um, uh, glue band with these, I don't know how you, how you self, self adhesive band, extra strong hook and loop band with top grip. So that's uh, stuff like this. Um, I'm sure you will, you will find it um, in a good assorted uh, store. And so that's very easy. Um, you can use this one. It's a very strong one. Um, and that's the easiest way to put both together. Um, yeah, so that's uh, my short lesson for today. That's my short um, um, uh, um, tuning tip to extend the range of the uh, Wi-Fi connection to the um, Phantom 2 Vision. And one next point, you can also extend the range of the um, remote control. I'm not quite sure in, uh, from which country are you looking or watching this video. And I don't know if it's allowed or not. In Germany it's not allowed. Um, but you can check if it's allowed in your country to change it. Um, that's very easy because here on the back side of the remote control, they're just under the lever where the, um, where the um, channel 7 is. There's another hole and um, when you turn the, with the screwdriver, this one, to the uh, right side, you will have a little bit more power. Um, you will have 100 milliwatt power, so that's a little bit more power. When you turn on your remote control, it beeps two times, not one time. So that's the sign that you change the, the uh, power. But please um, make uh, sure that it's allowed in your country, as I said before. In Germany it's not allowed, so in Germany you only can use the uh, less power um, and um, yeah, so be sure that you can use this in your country. Okay, so that's it for today. Extender for the uh, Wi-Fi range of the Phantom 2 Vision. Hope you enjoyed my video. If so, give me a like there and um, leave some nice comments. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Have some nice flights with the Phantom and come back here to my channel. There are lots more movies in the next few weeks to see. And um, there are some things you can do on your vision. And till now I say as every time, bye bye and moin moin.